what's up and welcome to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be creating this makeup look right here. It's just basically my way of turning a all neutral palette into something a little bit more fun just by adding a pop of color which today will be my winged blue liner and the palette that I use today is all neutrals. This is a Nudie Patootie palette by Laura Lee. I know I just did another eyeshadow look with it but this is a little bit more subtle and then you can add a pop of color if you guys choose to do that so I just thought it was a really fun way of kind of incorporating I just thought it was a really fun way of incorporating color into your makeup looks if you guys are just kind of beginning to dive into color or you want to find a way to like subtly do it and not just full blown go in with like a blue or purple eyeshadow. I just think this is a really nice way to introduce color to your guys' makeup collection. So yeah, if you guys are interested on this makeup look, then let's just go ahead and jump in. And if you guys haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. It means the world to me if you guys join my YouTube family. Let's just go ahead and get started. To save some time, I went ahead and already did my brows and primed my eyelids, and I used the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil, and this is in the shade at number two. And then to prime, I just used my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and then I just set it with any translucent powder. So now we can go ahead and jump into the eyeshadow look, and we're going to start off using the Laura Lee Los Angeles Nudie Patootie Palette. And the first shade I'm going in with is Strip right here as my transition shade. And I am taking this on a Morphe M573 brush. And now switching to a Sigma E38 brush, I'm going to go in with the color Bear. I'm gonna use that inside of my crease in my outer corner and I'm really going to build that up because I really want that pink color to just be really, really vibrant. shade I'm going to carve out my inner corner and to do that I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and just any concealer brush that you guys have laying around will be perfect for this. So I'm just going to take a little bit on my lid and where's my concealer brush? This brush is a really tiny brush and this is a Sigma E56 and I'm just taking that a little bit higher than my crease. completing this eye I went ahead and just set the concealer so that way I can put a nice even base on top of it and a nice even shade so now I'm going to take the color undercover and I'm going to put that right here in the middle of my eye leaving out the inner corner for a different color I'm gonna take a little bit of Bare again and just reapply that to my outer corner to help blend out those two shades. All right, and now all over the inner corner, I'm gonna take the shade Stark. crazy but I'm just trying to try some new things out so I'm going to use this NYX Vivid Brights Liner and this is in the shade Vivid Sapphire. Now I'm going to apply some lashes off camera and I'm just using the Euphoria by Jazzy Lashes and these are in the style doll face. They look so pretty and I'm so excited to try these out. This is my first time trying them and congratulations to Jazzy for finally launching her lashes. I know it took her forever so just going to quickly put these on off camera and then I'll be right back to finish the face. So that way we can go back onto the eyes. As you guys may be able to tell, I did make the blue wing a little bit bolder just because these lashes are so bold and so dramatic that I felt like the blue wing was just kind of fading behind it. So I really wanted to make it stand out again. So yeah, with that being said, we're now moving on to the face. I'm gonna use this Becca Backlight Priming Filter Primer to prime my face because I want it to be super glowy. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now for my foundation, I am mixing two different ones together, and this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow, and this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte, and the Pro Matte is in the color 104, which is a little too dark for me, and then the Infallible Pro Glow is a little too light for me, and this is in 203. I don't know why they have different shades. Um, I feel like they should totally just keep the same shades, personally. I feel that way, but oh well. To help blend my foundation, I'm using my Morphe Beauty Sponge, and I actually like this better than the Beauty Blender, surprisingly, and it is like a fraction of the price, so definitely try this out if you guys haven't already. And I was just making it a little damp with some MAC Fix Plus. use two different ones right here to brighten up my under eyes. I like to use the Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay and this is in the shade Light Warm while I'm a little bit tanner and then right here right underneath my eyes where the bags are I like to just take a little bit of the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and this is in the color Fair Beige. This is really really light so that's why I like to use this one because it's a little bit darker. And honestly, I just use this Urban Decay one to help brighten up my face. I don't necessarily use it to cover that much because I do think it's more of a medium coverage concealer and I like more of a full coverage concealer. So just taking that same Morphe sponge to blend that in. As you guys can see, I still have my bags underneath my eyes. So I just take a little teeny tiny bit of the Tarte Shape Tape, not a lot, and I use that same sponge again. Just kind of dab it in. For cream contour today, I'm using the Benefit Hoola Quickie Contouring Stick. This is one of my favorites just because it's so quick and so easy. I just take a little bit on my cheekbones and run it down my nose as well. And I just use this MAC 130 brush to help blend it in. This is such a creamy cream contour. If you guys haven't tried it before, it literally blends out seamlessly and so easy just because it is so creamy. You don't have to sit here and like worry about it tugging at your foundation or moving your foundation. It just kind of blends flawlessly. I'm going to set all of that using my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder now and I just like to use a Morphe Y11 brush to do so. I really want to bring some warmth back into the face, so I'm going to use this Tarte Amazonian Clay Bronzer, and this is in the color Park Ave Princess. This is just a tester version, but it seriously lasted me such a long time. So I'm just going to apply that onto my face. Coral blush would look really nice with this look, so I'm going to use the Benefit California blush. This is what it looks like. It's really, really pretty, obviously really coral and bright. So I'm going to take quite a bit of that on my cheeks, just to kind of tie in the coral from the eyes. To highlight my face today, I'm using this Smashbox Spotlight Palette, and this is in the shade Pearl. And the one I'm going to use is a more golden one out of the three. And I like to take that on my Sigma F03 brush. Moving back onto the eyes now, so I'm going to go in with the color Strip and I'm just going to kind of blend that onto my lower lashes. And now for the best part, I'm taking the shade Stark to highlight my inner corner and my brow bone as well. I feel like highlighting your inner corner and your brow bone just kind of changes every eye look. It's kind of like, you just kind of have to do it. I'm just gonna add some quick mascara so we can move on to the lips. 
lips, I'm going to try this Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the color Bellissima. It's like a bright peach. Pe pe what am I saying? A bright pink coral lip. So I'm gonna try that out. I actually really like the way that color looks, but I'm going to top it off with a gloss now, and I'm going to use the NYX Butter Gloss in the color Creme Brulee. So this is the finished look to today's tutorial. This is just basically how I added pop of color just to make a neutral look look a little bit more fun and a little bit more creative. It's definitely good for those that are trying to try out new colors. So I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel today and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.